A woman who made a name for herself by writing about big name celebrities has died. The trailblazing New York gossip columnist Liz Smith. She remained on top for decades by playing nice in a field known for its nastiness. CBS 2's Hazel Sanchez is here now with more. Hazel. Yeah, Jessica, a part of New York City died today with Liz Smith. She made a living giving readers an inside look at celebrity lives. And tonight, fans are mourning the loss of a media icon. For nearly three decades, millions were drawn to the column simply titled Liz Smith, knowing the woman behind the name would not disappoint in satisfying their appetite for celebrity scoop. Today, the 94-year-old gossip columnist died of natural causes at her home in Manhattan. Tonight at a press conference on another subject, Senator Chuck Schumer paused to speak about the legacy she leaves behind. Liz Smith always looked for the positive in people. And probably we need some Liz Smiths today, given how negative some of the columnists and uh, some of the things on the Internet are. Smith, known as the Dame of Dish, took her readers on a journey into the lives of politicians, movie stars, and the world's most powerful movers and shakers, often taking a more endearing approach with her subjects, opposed to airing out their dirty laundry. The Texas Natives tabloid column began running in 1976, first in the Daily News, then moving on to Newsday, then to the New York Post until 2009. It was syndicated for years in as many as 70 newspapers across the country. She spoke on Larry King live about her career and how the industry has changed. There's a lot more you can say now and I guess people just keep pushing the envelope. Tonight Smith's subjects are reversing roles writing about her on social media. Actor Rob Lowe tweeted, loved Liz Smith, smart and funny, gossip from the high road. Actress Betty Buckley tweeted, I loved Liz Smith so much, deeply sad reading this. Liz Smith was such a force and great, great lady. And Smith's publicist says she is survived by a large group of loving nieces and nephews. A memorial service for her will be held in the spring. Jessica? All right. Thanks so much, Hazel.